Hello, I'm Jarton and today I'm going to show you one of my favourite number tricks. It's the 22 trick. You'll find out why it's the 22 trick in a minute. And what I normally do, I do it on stage. And I pick out three people and they've each got to give me a different number between one and nine. Well, there's no audience here and no people. So my helpful volunteers is going to be one of my favourite things. It's just a pack of cards, OK? Here's another of my favourite things. You might have seen it before. Just see what noise it's going to make today. <laughs> Sounds a bit grumpy, doesn't it? Anyway, the pack of cards. I'm going to use nine cards from the pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if they haven't got too mixed up, hopefully those are the nine numbers between one and nine. Yeah, they're all in the wrong order because what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle them up even more, pick three of them and then do the trick. Here we go. Watch this. There's the first one, and it's the three. Uh, pick that one. What's that one? That's a six. And uh, pick the top one. Why not? Nobody ever picks the top one. So we've got three, six, and seven. I don't need those cards. Those two cards, you'll see what they're for later, okay? So, three, six, and seven. What I've got to try and do now is make six two-digit numbers using these digits. So, best way to do it is I've covered up that one. That is three and six is 36. OK, now I'll cover up that one. Six and seven would be 67. Cover up the one in the middle. Three and seven is 37. I hope your writing's better than mine. And now, if I swap these two over, if I cover up that one, I get 76. I have to move these down now. If I cover up uh, that one, I get 63. And if I cover up the one in the middle, I get, can you see it there? I've got 73. So that's 73. Okay, and the final thing I've got to do is I take the three cards here, 7 and 6 and 3, and I add them up. 7 plus 6 plus 3 equals 13. I'll make it 16. I hope you agree with me, okay? I'm going to put a little circle around it because we'll need that 16 in a minute. Right, the cards have done their job. In fact, the audience, they can go back to their seats. What I'm going to do now is if I add up all those six numbers, and I'm actually going to be... Do I do it with the calculator? I'll tell you what, I won't even use the calculator. Let's try and do it properly. 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 plus 7 is 20, 26, 29, 32. Ooh, I'm on form today. So 2 goes down there, a little free to carry there. 3 plus 7 is 10, 16, 23, 26, 32, 35. OK, so that's 3, 5, 2. That's that number there. What I do is I now take that number and divide it by that number. So 3, 5, 2, divided by 16. And for this one, I will use the calculator so we can all see what's going on. Where's the calculator? Can you see that? We put in 3, 5, 2, divided by 1, 6, equals, can you see that answer there? Now, you may be wondering what these two little cards are doing here. I'll show you. Ta-da! <laughs> and that's why it's called the 22 trick. Remember, those cards were sitting there all the way from the start. It doesn't matter which three numbers you start off with, you're always going to get the same answer, 22. Just follow the instructions exactly and bing, there you are. But why do we always get 22? That's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to try and explain it to you now. If you understand the explanation, well done. If you don't understand it, don't worry, you can still do the trick. Let's have a look at the sums again. If you look in the units column here, there's two sixes, two sevens, and there's two threes. So there's a six, uh, there's a seven, and there's a three. Supposing we just had one six and one seven and one three and added them up, we'd have got to 16. And then if you remember what we do, we divide by whatever that is, 16. So 16 divided by 16 would have made one. But in fact, we've got two lots of everything. Six, six, seven, seven, three, three. So we've got two lots of that. So instead of getting 16, we actually have that times by two. We get 32. But then when we divide that by the 16, 
it makes two. And that's why we get two in the units column at the end, yeah? But in the tens column, it's exactly the same. We've got two threes, two sixes, two sevens. And if you follow the same argument through, when we divide by seven plus six plus three, it goes in twice and we've got two in the tens column. That's why the answer is 22. Right, well, that's how it works with numbers, particularly three, six and seven. But I've got to show you how it works for any numbers. And this is where we have to look at a bit of algebra. In algebra, we don't use different numbers. We're going to use three different letters. And I could choose any letters I like, but I'm going to choose X, Y and Z. OK, so each of those letters represents a different mystery number. Now, the first job is we need to make six different two digit numbers. So we put them together in every combination we can. So there's X, Y, X, Z, Y, X, Y, Z, Z, X. And the last one will be, yeah, Z, Y. So that's our six different two digit numbers. So what we do, first of all, is we add those up. And if you look, it's just like when we had the uh, numbers. When we add them up in the units column, we've got two y's, two x's and two z's. And so we can write this in algebra like this. There's a two and then x plus y plus z. So that shows that we've added each of those numbers together twice. Now, at the end of the trick, we added those three numbers together and divided it into that. So in other words, they go down there. That's a dividing line. If I do that, X plus Y plus Z, that's those added up. And here's the beautiful thing. In algebra, if you divide that by that, the same thing, X plus Y plus Z divided by X plus Y plus Z, it doesn't matter what the letters mean or what they are. If it's the same thing, hey, it just cancels. And all we've got left is the two. We do the same thing for the tens column and we get another two there. And even though we don't know what numbers the X, Y and Z represent, they've disappeared. It doesn't matter. We always get 22. Well, if you did understand it, well done. If you didn't understand the algebra bit, don't panic. Of course, you can still do the trick. Just find somebody, a friend, anybody you like. Get them to pick three numbers between one and nine. Do that and then have 22 written down somewhere secretly and go, da -da, 22 at the end. And they're going to think it's brilliant. OK. Did you understand the explanation? <laughs> I didn't think it would. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.